All right, so obviously this showcase is a tad on the late side, considering that LR Godku is Extremes the Awakening. Dropped on Global about five days ago, but I decided to go ahead and record the showcase anyways, because I feel like I really need to make amends for some of the things that I said about his EZA in my initial reaction video. Uh, like a lot of people, I thought that he was going to be pretty underwhelming just based on the on paper details. Uh, it felt like they didn't give him enough of a boost and that he was just going to be another one of those like super mid Extremes the Awakenings that gets forgotten about after a few weeks, right? But yesterday, I finally had a chance to actually Extremes the Awaken him and test him out on a few events. And as it turns out, he is much better than I thought he was going to be. And uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Not to say that he's the best EZA in the game, because I don't think he is. But he is very impressive. He is one of the better EZAs in the game now. So yeah, in this video, we are going to be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened LR Super Saiyan God Goku, global first, by the way, at rainbow status, and also with max links. So uh, yeah, with that said, before we jump into the gameplay, I do want to quickly go over his Extreme Z Awakening details. So if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. So starting with his leader skill, it is Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans Category Key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 150%. His 12k super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and greatly lowers attack and his passive is, or sorry, his 18k super is greatly raises attack and defense for five turns, causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers defense. And then his passive is key plus two, attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional Attack plus 50% when performing an Ultra Super Attack or 18 Key Super. And then plus an additional Key plus 1 up to 5. Attack and Defense plus 11% up to 55% per Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans. Category Ally self excluded on the team. Plus an additional Key plus 3. And Defense plus 50% and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including Super Attacks, and performing a critical hit for 10 turns from start of turn. And finally, medium chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, starting from the 11th turn. So there you go. That is the LR Godku EZA. And uh, now we are going to be doing the uh, cell stage of Ultimate Red Zone. It's the Red Ribbon Army uh, event. And uh, we're starting, of course, with the first form cell on this rotation. We have the LR Godku linked up with one of his best linking partners in the game, which is the 7th anniversary LR Gods. And we're starting with 228k defense, which is not terrible, but of course not that high. But he will stack quite a bit more defense once we get some supers off. So let's give them some key. That's going to be a 21 key super, so not quite 24, but close enough. And here we go. First super guys, let's see what the attack stat gets up to here. Okay, please dodge. Bro, 50% chance to dodge. And we don't dodge. So that's nice. Uh, we took some damage, not a ton of damage, but definitely enough damage to be still a little bit concerned about his defense, at least early on. Uh, attack stat was close to 10 mil. I believe we did get debuffed a little bit for attack so it could have been even higher could have been probably like over 10 mil but nonetheless good attack the additional super was nice as well so good offense defensively yeah you do have to be very careful in the early stages of events because he hasn't had a chance to build up that defense yet right so the next time he comes around in the next rotation uh i think our defense will be a lot higher or i know our defense is going to be a lot higher but in that instance, we took 130k for the first super with type advantage. We also didn't dodge the super, which was disappointing. We did dodge the normal after, which obviously is going to happen because why would he dodge, you know, normals? 
or rather, why would he dodge a super when he can eat those and only dodge normals? That seems to be a, a running trend with a lot of units that I use, but anyways, it's not a big deal. I'm not uh, annoyed at all. And uh, yeah, let's get through this rotation here. I don't remember exactly how hard these guys hit. Um, I think it's just a little bit too early to pop an item, but that might actually be a mistake. Oh god, okay. We got the guard. We got the guard. So hopefully it doesn't do too much. Well, this, this showcase is not off to a great start. <laughs> god who looked good though. To be fair, God Ku looked good, at least from a offensive perspective. But we are taking way too much damage right now, and I don't have any healing items, so I don't know if we're gonna actually make it to the end of this event. But if we don't, it's fine, as long as we see a good amount of attacks and a good amount of defense or, you know, tanking opportunities from the God Ku, because that's the most important thing, right? So. Here we go. Um, we have now 342k defense. That is a pretty major boost, a pretty big jump from the last rotation or the last turn, which was like 228k, right? So over 110k additional defense from the first rotation. And let's uh, once again, I guess, get a 21k super. Um, Oh crap, okay, uh, it looks like we can't actually get a super attack off with the... Oh, we can, never mind. Okay, 12k super for the gods. And uh, we got bird coup. We do have the revival skill available, so that's good. That does reassure me a little bit. And now we're over 10 mil attack. Very nice. Additional super will be awesome too. Got the additional normal attack, which still did good damage, actually. That was still some pretty good damage. And uh, please don't super my LR God's self. I would appreciate that. Don't do not do it. I know I know you want to, just don't, just don't do it. I don't know if I can take a super right now. Oh. Oh, Well, hey, at least we had, <laughs> at least we had the bird cool revival skill. So <laughs> there's that. But oh my god, that is so much more damage than I thought they were gonna take. Like I knew they were gonna take a lot of damage. I knew they were gonna they were gonna get hit really hard with that super. I did not see 690k coming. I did not see that coming. So. We gotta be very careful. Um, I might have to start using items at this point. Uh, I was using Piccolo the last time, Orange Piccolo, the last time that we ran this stage, so I, that's that's probably why um, I underestimated this guy a little bit. But uh, all right, let's um, let's do this, guys. Okay, that's gonna be a nice 18 key super for the Fizz Goku and Vegeta. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, leave. Man, I think I'm gonna pop a, I'm gonna pop a Whis right now. I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that real quick. And then let's give those the LR gods, and I'll give just one orb, I guess, to Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Okay. Nice, nice Whis doing its job. Okay, nice. Okay, good crit there. All right. I know we're showcasing the LR God coup, but I also need to survive this rotation. So definitely a little nervous right now about these guys. Well, Super Saiyan 4 Goku mainly because you know God, the the gods are not taking any hits, but Super Saiyan 4 Goku um, does get a good amount of defense on a super attack, but is it enough? to tank a super right now is the question maybe we don't get we don't get super perfect beautiful beautiful okay here we go um man we can never get a 24k super can never get a 24k super that's super annoying nonetheless still an 18 key but it's just like i would love to see a full 24 key to get like the most attack stat possible 
Um, on the right side, we are up to 531k defense. That's quite solid. That's more than solid. That's really good. And you combine that with the dodge chance. Uh, and also the attack stat, 13.3 mil. And all around, just a really solid unit, guys. A really solid unit. I don't think solid is even fair, to be fair. Or to be honest. Um, I feel like solid is an understatement. He is just a very good unit. He's a very good unit. I really like this Extreme Z Awakening. I seriously underestimated him when I first saw the details. And uh, I just want to publicly say... I'm sorry. I apologize to LR Godku. I should have shown him more respect. I really should have. Alright, uh, yeah, at this point, we are going to pop the Bird Coup active skill, get some extra damage in there because we just need it. And, uh, yeah, uh, I might also transform my LR God Goku and Vegeta as well. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we should stack them a little bit more. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, let me see. Okay, so I'll give these to these guys. I'll give... Man, okay, I'll give these to the to the, to the phase Goku and Vegeta just so they can get a super off. And then I guess we'll just do this... 12 key, 15 key super. Uh, it's not an ideal situation, for sure. But I think it gives us the best chances of survival in case there's a super attack in the second slot. Even though there's only one attack there, if there's a super there, we need to at least build some defense with this super attack. Okay, there's no super. We got the dodge too. Wow. Okay, I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Yo, what is the dodge chance for the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta? Is it like 50%? Because I thought it was 30%. I could have sworn it was 30%. Oh, man, with the type of advantage too, still taking that much. Still taking that much. All right. Uh, Whis again, for sure. And then... Oh, at least we got a 24 key super with Godku. Beautiful. Um, that's gonna be 18 key and that's gonna be 18 key as well. Okay, we should be able to kill Cell this turn. 12.2 mil with no support is awesome. 12.2 mil, no support on rotation, critical, additional super, no, he heals, that sucks. They don't want that. Um Still hoping for enough damage here though to kill Perfect Cell so we can at least give us uh, ourselves a decent chance to survive the next phase, which is the last phase, but it's also the hardest phase, right? So, yeah, looking a little tough right now. Okay, three supers helps. Three supers from the LR Gods definitely helps a lot. With the defense as well, so that's, that's good. Um, of course he supers us here. Well, we triple supered, so we should be okay. There you go. And 8.1 mil. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the last phase here. If I happen to die at this point, um, that's just my mistake for not bringing a better team, you know, for the occasion, for the situation. But the showcase is still valid, okay? The showcase still you know, remains, and you guys got to see what the bird coup can do with his Extreme Z Awakening, you know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, we're good to go. We're good to go. All right. Okay, so, um, let's do bird coup in the first slot. Will we die? We might die. Uh, do we still have Whis active, or was that last turn? Did it run out last turn? I don't remember. Okay, it doesn't matter. At least we have... At least we have uh, the support for Pan, I guess. Oh, go no. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Okay, better tanking than I was expecting. We. Oh, you know, we got the damage reduction, right? How does Bird Coup work again? 
<laughs> it's been a while since I've read his passive, so I need to refresh my memory a little bit. But either way, we made the right choice. We made the right choice. That's all that matters. Right? That's all that matters. We made the right choice. We're still alive. We're still good. And that's all I can ask for. That's all I can ask for. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's do. Let me think for a second. Okay, let's put the friend in the end, and I'll just give them their active skill. Wait, no, hold on. Maybe I should just put an untransformed one there instead. But I want the dodge chance too. From the, from the rainbow orbs, right? So maybe I should... Um, not sure what the right move is right now, to be honest, but... Worst comes to worst, we'll still get one more turn with LR God Koo. Yeah, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm only gonna give one orb to these guys so we can get all these orbs for God Koo, okay? And then we can get still some, okay, only three orbs for these guys. Uh, 456k defense, no Whis active, but we still got the dodge chance for one more turn, the 50% dodge chance for one more turn. So, Hopefully we get a crit here. It's still a great chance to crit, or a high chance to crit rather. And maybe an additional as well. Yeah, okay. Wow, he's tanking pretty well though. Like a lot better than I thought he would tank. Oh. Wait, does this cell not hit that hard or am I crazy? Interesting. Okay, well, um, let's do that. Let's... Mm, okay, I'm gonna put Pan at the end. Yeah, oh, we got a super attack, or, or sorry, a Doken attack for Bird Coup. I'm actually hoping we don't kill Cell here though, because we still want one more attack with the God Coup if we can. Just to like let him finish things off, because I usually like to get the final attack in with the showcase unit. Because it just feels like it's a nice way to wrap things up, right? It's like a nice bow on the showcase, if you will. Alright, um, enough rambling. I just, uh, I'm a, I'm a little nervous about how things are going to turn out. I don't really know what to expect. Oh, it looks like we're going to, oh, kill Cell. Oh, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I guess I was worried for nothing. Um, that's the showcase, guys. That is the LR. I forgot about this phase. Completely forgot about this phase. So that's wonderful. Okay, we still have a medium chance to dodge. A medium chance to dodge. That's uh, reassuring, because <laughs> we're past turn 10 now, we're on turn 11, right? So yeah, the medium chance to dodge is there. Uh, we are out of items, so this is looking not great for us. It's not looking great for us. We're still getting a good amount of attack though, so the offense is still there. The defense after super, still solid, right? Um, pre super, not as much, but post super, still solid. Okay, another super attack. Yeah, you know, we can still do this, man. Even though this is an unexpected extra phase, I think we can still do this. I still believe. I still believe. Let's go. Okay, well, we're gonna need Gogeta to like dodge for us if we get super because like otherwise we're dead Oh wow, oh, okay 
I thought he was gonna dodge at least one, but he was like, nah, I'm not gonna dodge for you, bro. No, it's, it's not, it's not gonna happen. It's not, it's not the cards for you. Okay, well, um, that is the showcase for LR Godku, for LR Godku. Uh, like I said, even if we die at the end, the showcase as a whole is still valid. I just came in a little bit unprepared because I thought there were four phases and then I realized, oh shoot, it's five. And I already beat the stage too, so I feel like I should have remembered, but I didn't. So it is what it is. That is the showcase, guys. That is LR Super Saiyan God Goku with his Extreme Z Awakening. I think it's really good. I think it's really good. I don't think it's the best in the game. I think his defense still could be better, obviously. His offense is... Uh, you know, up there with some of the harder hitting units in the game, right? Like he hits very hard, but his defense does leave something to be desired. The dodge chance is nice, but if we don't get that dodge chance, and as you saw in longer events, you will run out of the high chance to crit and the high chance to dodge, right? So that's also a concern in longer events. Um, you know, he's not gonna dodge for you nearly as much. And then he's also not gonna hit as hard because he does lose that 50% chance to crit, but uh, in like short to medium, oh, I just realized our music is gone. In short to medium length events, um, he'll he'll be really good. He'll be great for you. So uh, as a whole, I just think it's a extremely solid Extreme Z Awakening. I think um, it's definitely above average Extreme Z Awakening, and uh, he's just much better than I gave him credit for. So I came here to say. I was wrong. I'm pretty happy with this Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's all there is to say, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video, signing out.